Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel today. If you enjoyed this review, please drop a like and please subscribe down below. I appreciate all the support from everybody. And as you can tell from the title of the video and what you see in front of you, we have another collaboration between New Balance and Aimé Leondor out of New York. And we have a kind of red, white, and blue style box, 550 graphic on the side. And let me flip it around to the size tag area. It is a men's size 12 in the 550. And the colorway is not printed on here, but you are looking at the purple one today. And they did release three colorways of this. Retail is not printed on here either, but it was 130 US. And this particular pair, I believe, released on June 21st, 2022. I will make sure that date is absolutely correct. They were 130 US. And in domestic shipping for the US, they're $12. So 142 is the total. So this is what we are looking at today so before i bring these up there was three colorways available you had the purple you had the olive and the brown i actually grabbed the brown pair as well and they will be arriving in spring of 2023 so they're a little bit later i don't know why i guess a second production run but that's okay i was able to grab those as well the purple pair was one of my favorites the brown was second olive third the olive is still a solid buy you had two pairs of laces one in the purple to match the overall silhouette in the color Amy Leon Door printed on the bags, New York. And then the other one, you have a cream vintage style lace that kind of resembles that midsole there that you see with the vintage kind of yellowing. So overall, I think the 550 is a solid, solid sneaker. I think it's easy to wear. I think with the colors and something simple like this, you can easily dress it up and wear it out to a nice restaurant. And it doesn't look too much like an athletic sneaker and stuff like that. It's a little more dressy. The leather quality on here is nice. It's not amazing, but it is good. I've seen New Balance do better, but I still think these are a solid buy. If you've ever owned a pair of 550s, the ALD has a little bit of differences in the regular model, but not too many. Here's a look of that purple up close. I know it's coming up dark on the camera. But if I can get the lighting to kind of show right there, how it kind of lit up a little bit. You can see it's a really dark purple. The best way to describe it is like a plum. And the outsole has that same color. I'm glad it's a little bit more vibrant so you can kind of see what the uh, actual color looks like under light. Because it is kind of dark in person. You have that yellowing vintage outsole and midsole kind of protruding down. New Balance, non-marking sole. There's a look at the cracked leather they use on the end. Going around, you have a little bit of rubber plastic back here by the heel that gives a little bit of protection on that shank piece. Your toe box has a little bit of perforation, but does not add much breathability. All leather going across the paneling on both medial and lateral side of the sneaker. And on back of one of them, it says New Balance. On the other, it is different. So the other pair, you have the Aimé Leondor New York, and then you got the A or NB on the other one, so left and right. And your tongue has the worm with the apple and Aimé Leondor 550 right there. I'll bring that up so you can kind of see the purple. And you have a little bit of purple lining piping going around the top of the tongue. Your tongue is a nice kind of backpack material, but it's softer than, say, like a Jordan 1 canvas, which is pretty stiff. This is a nice, softer, kind of flexible material, so it should feel good atop of the foot. And then inside you have the purple insole with New Balance. And on your other insole, you have the ALD logo with New York printed there and the Apple. So overall, it is a solid, solid buy. You do get one tag on the sneaker right here with the Ortholite Comfort insoles. So of course, they are going to be comfortable to wear. Um, sizing with these is kind of finicky. Some of them I feel like run a little big and then others I feel run tight. So me personally, in this pair, I wish I would have got a 13, but I ended up with a 12. So sizing on these i'm my best recommendation is there are new balances available still in stores if you go to a local store like Foot Locker finish line try to find the 550 try it on in store and see which sizing is best for you other than that let me know what you think of these down below i know the ald versions are a little more hyped up than the regular 550s and some of these collaborations go for a little bit more these are doing pretty good on the aftermarket so if you are going to buy a pair it's time to recommend i would say maybe buy now but at the same time since i know for sure that I have already a confirmation that I'm gonna get a shipment of the brown pair in, in spring of 2023. They might be doing another restock and reproduction run. So you end up dropping the market in that sense. So if you wait and you're patient, maybe at that time in spring 2023, the market will go down. You'll be able to get a pair for cheaper. If you can't wait that long, of course, buy it now. I will leave links down in the description to where you can find these. I'll leave a link to ALD if you're not too familiar with them. Uh, they've been around since about 2014, based out of Queens, New York, founded by Teddy Santis. 
So it's a really good company. I recommend it. And if you're not too familiar with their clothes and you want to kind of get an idea beforehand, I would say the closest thing to resemble is Kith. And they're not particularly what Kith sells, but Kith's branding of the clothing. Um, except to me, they have more of a Mediterranean, coastal, summer. I don't know. I really like what they do. It. Of course, it's inspired by the Greek heritage of Teddy Santis and his family. So it's just a really well done brand. One of my favorite, if not my favorite clothing brand right now at the moment. It's been for a little while. Um, let me know too down in the comments if you'd like to see an ALD collection video. I do have some t-shirts and I have some things that I've saved up over time. Um, I could shoot a video for those, so let me down below. And other than that, uh, see. <laughs> and other than that, I thank you guys for stopping by. Leave some comments down below. I'll try to answer back to everybody. I hope you stick around. I have more good stuff coming shortly, and I hope everybody has a good day. All right.